Easy good boys. Good morning guys. Welcome to another video. Today we're just going out here gonna fish because it has been very tough on me. I've had I have not had a good day of fishing in the last few trips. So hopefully we will change that today. We're gonna do a little bit of everything. We're gonna scope some. We're gonna throw an Alabama rig, crank, jerk bait. Hopefully the wind picks up. It is supposed to pick up today. Um, very beautiful day today. It's 53 degrees right now. You don't have to have a bunch of clothes on. It's gonna warm up to like almost 70. So I'm really looking forward to today. Spring is here. They are full blown pre-spawn, so Hopefully we can have some fun today. Like I said, we're gonna go out here and just do a little bit of fishing. And good Lord willing, we catch us quite a few fish. So you guys stay tuned and I'll see you guys in just a second. How to chase him down. How to chase him down. He's not very big. But he's the first fish of the day, ladies and gentlemen. First fish of the day. A little chunky. He might be a keeper. He closed. Nah, he's not a keeper. He's about 14 inches, though. Thanks, buddy. That's why they're not getting rigged. These are little tiny ones, like this little feller. You done? Little tiny ones, like this little guy. So they're not getting rigged. I put like four bites on it. So they're that size. There's a little bit of a better one. Healthy little guy, he mean. another one they're real pretty they're just no size today and i don't understand why you think the big ones would start biting with it being middle of march uh this is not a bass this is not a bass <laughs> That sucker went freaking. He made a massive run, dude. Come on. That's a big one, dude. It's 
freaking tank, son. hung up in the tree there for a second. It's a good large mouth looks like. Oh yeah, real good large mouth. There we go guys. It's a nice chunky one, about two and a quarter or so. Bay rig's been the best player today. Only caught two fish scoping a small mouth and a big old striper. But that right there is a very pretty large mouth very healthy large mouth all right guys we are struggling just a little bit um, I did catch that good large mouth and a couple shorts uh, the main player right now is the the stealth rig um, caught two fish scoping one of them was a big striper, the other one was a little, a little small mouth. But other than that, man, I can't really get a whole lot going on. And that's just been the story lately. It's just, it's just been very, very tough. No reason in particular, it's just been pretty tough. I don't know if I just haven't got on them yet, it's good. Or if I'm just fishing the wrong areas or what exactly. I got a couple more hours on the water until I have to leave. Uh, I actually have to take my trolling motor off because I'm sure y'all have heard it throughout the video, it just randomly beeps. Um, I don't know if I have it in the video where it turns on and off just randomly. Uh, but I've had a lot of issues out of it, and it's not a knock against Minn Kota. Minn Kota makes a great product. I just think I just got one bad egg. I think this is my fourth old Trex, and this is the first one I've had problems out of. So I'll be working on that later. But we're going to keep on running a few banks with the stealth rig and hopefully we can catch us a few more. Still a little bit of a tougher day. I was hoping I can catch a few more fish scoping. I might look around for a little bit. But with that being said, let's get back to the fishing. Oh dang, another striper. Or it's a big, oh it's a big smallmouth. Big old brownie. Oh, it's a large mouth. Is that a large mouth? Yep. That's a brown one. It looks like a large mouth for a second. Uh, that's a good one, boys. That's a good one. That thing's long. Pretty solid fish. It's pretty long. I don't know, man. I'm just trying to make a freaking video, and I can't even make a video because I suck so bad. I just, I mean, this is like my third trip in a row. I've done terrible. Even practicing the BFL was terrible for me. I caught literally the day before, I caught two fish. I thought that was that video that you posted. No, no, that was a little over a month ago. I don't know. I, don't, I think it just got too warm too quick. I don't know. But I'm going to run up the lake here and uh, hit me another spot or two and I'm going to load up. Alright, sounds good. Alright, see you, bud. Well, it's not just tough on me, it's tough on Taylor, too. Alright, guys, we're back here at the house. And we're going to go over the rig that pretty much saved this entire video. Uh, not only because it pretty much saved my day. Uh, I, I pretty much caught, I think I caught like six or seven fish total on it. Caught a few fish scoping. But that is the stealth rig. The main reason why I caught fish. If you want to know more about this bait, I have a whole video dedicated to this rig right here. It is actually 
being released in the next couple of days from the time you guys are seeing this video. It was supposed to be released the last week of March, but there were some problems with shipping, so they're gonna push it back another week, and they're hoping to have it very, very soon. If you click the link down below, on Stealth Lures, it will take you directly to it. You guys can check out McKee Outdoors if you're local to East Tennessee. Uh, you can even message him on Facebook and he will ship it to you. But Stealth Rig, eighth ounce uh, heads with the 3.3 Kitex, 20 pound line, four carbon that is, 7.3 heavy rod, and a seven gear ratio reel. You guys, if you watch that video, that's exactly the same thing I throw. Um, this right here, I actually threw it in the BFL, helped me fill out a limit. I've used it all winter, and I love it. I think I've caught around 60-ish fish on this one, 50 to 60 fish. So, it's getting there, up on numbers. Uh, most of the time, a regular Alabama rig, when I get in that 50 to 60 fish range, that becomes a practice rig. I don't throw it in a tournament. So, uh, we're going to keep on testing out the durability of this rig. I want to thank you guys for watching and make sure you guys check me out on all my social media links down below subscribe if you haven't already like the video if you liked it until next time catch on big